hasn't won a big one in a in a minute let's see if he's able to take it over spargo this time but we still got these pool stages and here leo versus bonia is going to be a very fun one to watch for sure Probably this is going to be quite the underdog story for Bonilla. Everyone rooting for him. I mean, like I said, he's a rising star from the Mexican community. And we are going to have indeed a battle of the lords. We're going to have Roy versus Violet. And we are going to go here straight into Pokemon Stadium number two. I mean, that is kind of quite the little peak, right? It's just Pokemon Stadium 2 for starters and then we move from that, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think uh, most of the top players like to go for the Sage, and they're being more uh, willing to counterpick, which I like a lot. There's so many great Sages in this game, but already we're seeing MKLeo with aggression. We're thinking, you know, Bonilla is going to have to rush down MKLeo, but MKLeo with the um, burst range and that initial dash of Violet, there's going to be a very good way to kind of zone break into your areas of space, and landing with those big aerials is going to be scary as well. But Bonilla kind of fighting his own now, finding some defensive game, gets a back air punish on that Nair in place, or Nair in from MKLeo. Leo now on the ledge here. Bonilla has a ledge towards Leo. Goes for the roll. Able to get through, but getting caught with a landing option here. Let's see the Nair. And man, it's just been so uh, back and forth already, I think. Like, the way that both of them are playing their advantage states have been so impressive so far. Yeah, oh, making sure to outspace each other. Oh, the double edge dance just barely hits Leo out of there. And it's gonna be quite the range battle. Just making sure you are in range to get those hits. Making sure you are able to convert all this stuff like this. The down tilt into the upper is gonna be critical here. Just to whiff punish Roy when he tries to go for those jabs. Making sure he doesn't get the gear. Oh, double parry into the down tilt. Oh, what a... That, I have that never seen that. Double parry on both hit of Roy Nair into the turnaround down tilt up air. What an insane defensive play from Leo. And that's part of what le makes Leo so lethal is that even when you're pushing the ledge against him, even when you think that you have him scared, he is ready to end your stock off of a single parry there. And that was a great conversion from Leo. Definitely going to the highlight reel there. And now we see a forward tilt from Bonilla while able to sneak past Leo going a little bit too deep, deep in the ledge. And now Bonilla has an opportunity to bring back the percent lead here. Goes for the first hit Nair uh, side B combos, but doesn't find him. Maybe that's the Crom uh, influence. Yeah, definitely. Oh, gets a hit on the up B. Don't let... I'm gonna let you handing. Oh, what? Parry too. Doesn't get the party sadly. Too close to the ledge there to get something else. And now we see Bonilla taking the lead. He is staying... He's uh, in charge of the pace of this dance. Just making sure to get the hit. Oh, a little bit too eager with that double edge dance. It's gonna be hard punish. It's gonna hurt a little bit. And now how do you get out of the corner? Good oh, offensive. He that is not crazy. afraid. He's not afraid to contest it. No, you know what? Even Leo, you have to uh, keep him in check. You have to make your opponent work for those ledge traps. You're going to say, you know what? I don't believe that you can handle the side B from ledge right now. And maybe Leo won't get hit by that again. But sometimes that's all you need. You just need your one. And Bonilla now with a stock lead over Leo. Leo has to find a way to take this stock out without taking too much percent. A big nut move from Bonilla is going to be able to get him some pretty good percent here. But gets it down tilt into the up end. We are last stock game number one. A very close game one so far. Yeah, Bonilla is keeping this real close. He, I think he studied the matchup. I'm sure he has made his own work. But for now, another situation. We've seen, I mean, we've seen Bonilla a lot in the ledge. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, that was a huge mix-up. I love it. Not going what straight patience. up. Yes. Also, just avoiding the, the upper and make sure to to put Leo in a difficult situation because he was trying to decide he's gonna go for the side B, he's gonna go for a roll. No, he's just gonna jump straight up and they're gonna hit you in the way down. Bonilla takes back the stage control just like that and okay, just making sure to get it back. But uh, like I said, we've seen Bonilla a lot of moments in this ledge and now PJ, my god, just who's gonna take this because uh, same thing as, uh, as uh, just a note to be from Violet, Roy can take it as a, with a smash. Oh no! Oh, no, that's oh, the high no. recoveries that Andrew was punishing so difficult, or so much, and there Bonilla going a little bit too high with the uppy. Leo getting the forder. Leo even putting all his force into that forder. Leo's definitely somebody that leans to his hits in ultimate, and that's definitely a good character to do it with. With that Violet, those strong hitting hitboxes are gonna be so good at punishing things like that. And now we're gonna see Leo here have it, counter pick advantage and a one game. Let's see if we see character switches potentially from Leo's side, but. Um, I think that the Byleth is definitely going to be what we see uh, mostly this weekend. Yeah, I think too. I mean, maybe some other counter pick just in case. Maybe going for the Lucina. Maybe going... I, I don't think the Joker is coming out. I, I, to be honest, I think Cloud would prefer to take Ike before Joker. If y'all remember that era of Smash Ultimate. But, <laughs> well, 
we're just gonna start again. We're not gonna change the stage. We're gonna keep it right in and right now. And Bonilla again being patient in the ledge, but I mean, <sighs> I have a little bit of trouble just thinking of how Bonilla takes this amazing lead that he takes control. But whenever he is in the ledge, he's in a whole lot of problems. Once Leo gets a little bit of more of information on how to deal with him, I think Bonilla is gonna have a really hard time because. I, I, I've seen this man in the ledge already three times, four times in this in this match and in the, in the last match also he was spending a lot of time there so okay you get a little bit of those good kills with Roy but how are you dealing with the disadvantage in this moment? Exactly. Oh just like that. And that's the Leo advantage thing. I mean, even if you're getting percent, Leo is gonna very easily find the kill there and you go for a, a mix-up on the ledge with Leo. Very well spaced back here there to close out the stock number one and now gets a nair, tries to go for a dash attack goes the wrong way maybe the nair not setting it the way he wants but going for a spot dodge i like the wait from bonilla not to act immediately if he went for that um up it could have been very very dangerous and another side b from ledge is going to get punished but not fully leo going for a dash attack but a very good di down tech from bonilla is going to get him a little bit more time here on the second stock 60 percent now just needs one good hit on leo that's the up air 143 percent has the air dodge there but doesn't find a forward air off of it leo now on the ledge gets back to the stage and Already takes center, but Bonilla, they're playing hop, uh, leapfrog over each other, trying to take center stage here. You don't want to give Leo center stage, and Bonilla trying to make this work 154%. Well, good yeah. spacing over that side B. Man, it's just, Leo's position has been so good this game number two. Yeah, totally. Like, he's keep making sure that Bonilla is at that sweet spot where he can down tilt, he can F tilt, or maybe he can F air. And Bonilla finally gets the kill. Yeah, he has to make a really hard call out with that upper. And again, he's in a hard situation to get again out of the ledge. And the down smash, oh my god, Leo going with strong there, trying to go catch a, a fast fall there. But not yet. Bonilla in a dire situation here, trying to get out. And he's getting back into the middle stage. But the problem is that he going a little bit, I mean, he's extending a little bit when he tries to poke and Leo's shield. And every single time he tries to go for the double ledge dance, he's getting uh, every time punished harder and harder. Harder. Yeah, I feel like as Leo comes into his own versus oh. his defensive habits, he starts hitting so hard, and that back air is going to be right space to the headshot. And now we have Bonilla has to come back over Leo. 80% on Leo, though, gets the upbeat. That's 101. One good corner pressure situation, one good jab back air, one good jab forward smash could be the end of the stock, but goes for a tomahawk. Let's get something going here. Goes for the down throw into back air, but punishes the down air for forward tilt. You cannot do that here. We are not mashing out a disadvantage. Wait your turn, Leo. Bonilla, Bonilla now bringing it back to an even stock, but now Leo with some corner pressure. Fixie, I don't know how you do this from Bonilla when you're on the ledge against Leo. Yeah, he's being really patient and he's mixing a little bit of his offensive approaches. I think the side, uh, the double edge dance is working at some times, but for other times he's going for, a, for an air approach. He's trying really hard to just to be patient, that's a key word here. He's just being patient, trying to think really well how he's gonna get out of that ledge. But again, Leo gets one hit, he gets the punish over Bonilla, and mixing really well that get up attack. Now gets the hit, and whoa, this is gonna be big! No, this get uh, just the momentum going way too forward on that upper. It's gonna hurt Bonilla for that conversion. Trying to go for the higher rest of Ritz! And that's gonna be nope. the classic the esports combo, the down there, down tilt into the upper. And that's gonna be for Bonilla's second game. That's going to be so good, especially against a character like Bori, where it's a fast faller that's a little bit... A mid-weight fast faller, which is basically combos with that down tilt up there, is going to be really, really good uh, at finding the kills there. And that was just a great um, conversion from Leo, of course, being super consistent in his punish game. Yeah, I mean, the punish game... I mean, they were doing a good job. I did... I did oh, here's the Corrin. You talk about this. Here's the Corrin. Yeah, we got to see him. This corner was causing some problems in SoCal. I'm really excited to see how this goes out. Uh, Zenyu, shout out to Zenyu, the Mario player from SoCal, very strong player, said, I'm more worried about um, Leo's Corrin than his Pyramithra. Um, Zenyu was able to take a set over um, the Pyramithra, but not the Corrin. The Corrin, a very uh, interesting character and a force to be reckoned with, potentially going to be the counterpick for the Min Min. Just a character that has fallen out of grace in the meta, but Leo, I mean, he knows a thing or two about bringing characters into the meta once again, so definitely going to see uh, more of this, I'm sure. Yeah, Leo is a player that just understands the game so well, and I'm sure he found something in Corey that a lot of people are not doing. Oh, going for a leap there, trying to go for the ledge, and now there uh, we're gonna see that upper trying to get the kill. And I, I mean, yeah, Corey has fallen off our meta a lot of indifference for the Smash Four, but I think her aerials are still really good. I mean, we saw that meta in Smash Four and also start of Ultimate. 
That has never failed. That's fair with a lot of range. Oh, we're gonna go for the poke smash. Oh, we're gonna go for the side B. It's gonna hit, but not yet. Doesn't kill that early as this used to be, but still. Good hit in the after the game. And the air dodge maybe pull him into the blast zone. You know what? That that situation there, Leo could have done it with any of his characters and the same result would have happened. That could have been a Byleth, a Joker, any forward tilt. Now that's just kind of the strength of Leo. Yes, such I mean some of the best or the best fundamentals in the game, so I definitely gonna see that. But Bonia able to get a landing call out there. Leo gonna go for these pop-ups with Korn. Korn's a character that has some really horizontal hitboxes that end up becoming very vertical in terms of where you're gonna be punishing your opponent. Gonna wanna pop up Bonia and kind of juggle. Keep you off stage now, gets an air to the back air. Very good conversion, but uh, wow. What an angle catching the jump from ledge. No double jump and able to take it. Leo up two stocks to one on Bonilla. Looked, Bonilla looked much better, but Leo kind of, I think, adapted to this aggression. Yeah, 100%. And I think that Corin is, a, is, a, is not a, a everyday matchup. So I think Bonilla could also be uh, suffering a little bit of the matchup inexperience. You, it's hard to remember the range of that fair. I mean, the active frames too, how the upper hits so far away in the nair also, how troublesome can it be? And I mean, I have a flashbacks because I have a friend in the region that just went crazy with Corin. They're nice racked and with the double edge dance. And uh, okay, this is the moment of truth. Are you, how are you gonna get the edge guard? I'm seeing he's not going for counters at all to catch this up beast. And remember that up B from Corin is, he has an active hitbox and you can hit it in the way up and gets the backer now. What a awareness from Bonilla gets the hit. But now the question is, can he take it home to make this 2-1? Yeah, that was a really good call out on MKLeo's double jump out of disadvantage. And of course, that's going to be what Roy's going to be really good at, making you uncomfortable and punishing you for your unsafe defensive options. Now, Leo crouching in the corner, trying to hold on for dear life. Bonilla with the aggression laps. Leo in percent. Goes through a foreigner, goes through, gets a down tilt onto a platform tech chase. Now, Leo, the one in some advantage. But now we're back to neutral. And I feel like Roy just has so many tools. Gets the down tilt poke into the immediate nair. No down tilt tech chase, though, for Bonilla. An unfortunate hitbox here but leo now struggling to get off the ledge and goes for the forward air but no he went for the he needed back air there and a little bit of spaghetti here another back air doesn't sweet spot connect and oh man is he gonna be punching himself for that let's see if he can get it he, he just needs one more hit and tilt the one tilt up tilt oh no, just not enough percentage to make it work with that up throw he needs one touch oh doesn't get a commercial no, though we're missing those yeah there's a lot of spaghetti in the floor oh my god the sauce has gone way hard and now we have spilled all over in the floor Watch out, we need that girl, oh, we need that car hit, but the other side, Morilla is having a lot of trouble just from side to side, making sure that Leo doesn't feel comfortable in the ledge. He needs to propose something now because Leo is just taking cover the center stage. You don't want Leo to feel comfortable. You don't want to Leo make Leo believe the same is gonna hit yet. We are still living PJ. Oh my god! The back! The back! Holy that back is that back is all it takes, man. That's so unfortunate there for Bonilla. The spaghetti on those conversions. Leo gonna clutch it out there. Gets the side B and that backer on the low recovery. And man, that was just some very very good play from Leo. An unfortunate uh, turn of events where he just kept spaghettiing. He had the jab backer at the ledge. He had a jab into the first hit nair. No conversion. And that sometimes is all that it takes. You get some spaghetti. Your hands start to shake, and that's gonna be all she wrote. And 